think about it, it began about 15 years ago. It's been a long time in coming. On this 29th day of October 2014, we commemorate the groundbreaking for Palm Coast City Hall in Town Center. This very first true city hall will become a welcoming and gathering place for residents and future generations. Our new city hall will become our symbol of friendship and diversity. The place where we've always counted on each other in very special ways. A place for enduring traditions, memories, and community spirit. Welcome to 160 Lake Avenue. Expecting a crowd, but uh, talk about exceeding expectations. Uh, this is fantastic. You know, it's November in Florida. What a beautiful day and a beautiful community. A huge welcome. If you will all stand as we will uh, have the Palm Coast Fire Department Honor Guard present the colors. Please stay standing as we do the Pledge of Allegiance and they post the colors. Thank you. You may be seated. Once again, a big welcome to your new city hall. My name is Jim Landon, around here affectionately known as your favorite city manager. I'm your only city manager, so you don't have any choice, uh, I'm, I'm afraid. Uh, now, um, I have the privilege of being the master of ceremonies. Uh, and the goal here is to cut the ribbon and formally, formally open the doors and uh, declare this building yours uh, as a community. Always have to welcome uh, a lot of special guests. And as you can probably tell with this kind of crowd, I'm not about to try to pick everybody out that's uh, a distinguished guest. So, but I did want to do a big welcome for our friends at Flagler County all our neighboring uh, communities. I think there's representatives from all of them here. We have somebody from the uh, East County Mosquito Control District. Uh, and our school district has representatives. Uh, all the county constitutional officers, we, we have um, many of them here. And a big thank you for coming. And then we have also have uh, people in, in our, from our state government here, too. So uh, I'm just going to say one big thank you uh, for coming. Now, but you know who really is a special guest, and that is all of you, our residents and our businesses, and because this is really about you today and not, not about elected officials, in my opinion. So 
Uh, I'm going to take you on a little journey with the, and, and then try to bring up some people. This journey is going to go forwards and backwards because this really has been a journey. You know, Palm Coast is uh, going to see its 16th birthday next month. So we've been a city for 16 years now. Uh, so it has been quite a journey. Obviously, as a community, it's a lot older, but uh, uh, from a city standpoint, 16 years. We tried something new with this building. We did not uh, hire an architect that designed it and then said, okay, mm, we're going to go out to bid and take the low bidder. We actually put together a team. We're very much about teams here. That's one of the reasons you'll see so many conference rooms. We hired an architect and we hired a construction management company. And we put those two private consultants together with a team of employees to help design this and help make it happen. And very proud of the fact that they, on time, and they got their CO on the last day, so it was on schedule. And as everybody told me we couldn't do, it was on budget and did not go over budget we said and the construction management process was different for us versus a general contractor where they actually gave us a guaranteed price and so up front we knew we were on target and we stayed that way but with that said I'm going to start off with uh, before you have a ribbon cut you got you got to have a few comments and, and it really was a special team. And we have representatives here from uh, CT Shoe and Associates, which is our architectural firm. And, and Mr. Jim Hughes is going to say a few comments from a design standpoint. Jim? Mayor Nitz, council members, citizens, and community, thank you for inviting us this evening. Uh, what a wonderful project, what a wonderful evening to cut the ribbon. Uh, with this facility, we had three primary goals when we started, and I like Jim's word, it was a journey, it was a long journey, but we, you had an excellent team to work it, and that's, that's what happened. Uh, primary goal was set a public focal point, develop an environmental friendly building, and thirdly, establish a building that meets the public's needs today and in the future. And I believe this team did all of that. So from the standpoint of CT Shoe and Associates, we would like to thank you very much for inviting us to be a part of your team. We enjoyed it. And uh, Joe Frisco will come up and talk about the contract side. But we had a wonderful team working with everyone. So thank you very much. I am. Uh those of you that know us, uh, we have a lot, we deal with a lot of contractors. I can not be real uh, friendly with contractors sometimes when they screw up. But I will tell you, Gilbane was excellent. And we were very, very fortunate to find somebody that really uh, paid a lot of attention to detail uh, and listened to us. And so very, very pleased uh, to introduce Joe Frisco with Gilbane. Thank you, Jim. Mayor Nets, Council, uh, city residents, uh, congratulations. What a wonderful day. Uh, it's a beautiful building. Uh, I'm very honored to be here, be able to say a few minutes, and I did promise a few folks I'd be pretty brief. Um, you know, I wanted to recognize a few other folks, too. Uh, C.T. Shu, you did a wonderful job. The building is, is gorgeous. Um, there was a lot of engineers that were involved, CPH, uh, OCI engineers that did a fantastic job uh, on the project. Um, and our team, uh, I'd like to especially thank Ty Bliss, our project manager, who uh, put in countless hours uh, over the last uh, number of months to, to make this a reality. Uh, Howard Wagoner, our superintendent, Craig Scott, our project engineer, and Stephanie Taylor, our accountant. Uh, it was a real team effort. There's a lot of other folks on the city side and all of the consultants that, that really put a, a ton of energy into getting to where we are today. And um, I was very pleased to be a part of that. Uh, Jim, you mentioned a uh, team effort. Uh, it's exactly what it was. Uh, we worked together, I think, some of us for the first time ever in this uh, team process. Uh, we built trust in each other and accountability to each other, and I think that's a big part of you know, why we're successful today. And uh, There were a number of occasions, Jim, where you reminded me uh, in a very straightforward fashion that 
the budget was uh, absolute, and I'm proud to report that we did bring it in under budget, and the schedule was not flexible. <laughs> so uh, we made it. Uh, so that's great. And uh, one, one other quick thing, there's some sheets, I think, that have been passed around with some interesting fun facts about the, the building and how many cubic yards of concrete and tons of structural steel. There's one other little fun fact I'd like to just share. and. Um, you know, that is uh, from a safety perspective, uh, Gilbane feels very passionately about safety. It's, uh, it's at the root of our culture. And uh, one other thing is over the course of the construction, the, the subcontractors that we worked with, uh, a bunch of great companies, uh, some of them local right here to Palm Coast, uh, we worked almost 80,000 man hours. And I'm, I'm happy to report that we had zero lost time accidents. And we should all uh, applaud that. So congratulations and um, thank you very much. Enjoy your new building. Thank you, Joe. Part of the journey in 16 years is um, oftentimes many elected officials, many city managers, employees. This community has been quite unique in the fact that uh, we've only had two mayors in 16 years and two city managers. And in my business in particular, that is very unusual. A uh, lot more turnover usually than that. So very proud of that. So part of the celebration, what we're going to do is bring up our two mayors and ask both of them to speak. And we're gonna start with our former mayor, Mr. Jim Canfield. Thank you, Jim. Look at this uh, beautiful building. And I think that uh, when we started the city in December of 1999, I, as the mayor, was holding office hours in the coffee shop in the old Kmart. <laughs> and I think some of you out there remember where the old Kmart was. And in addition to that, I carried the complete city files and in just one shopping bag. And the shopping bag wasn't even full at the time. Uh, so, so that's how far we've come. And it's been a dramatic, uh, dramatic journey, as Jim Landon had mentioned. Uh, today, I'd like to take my part of the presentation uh, to look back. And I think uh, John Nets, who's been the on the council in various forms for 13 years, he established a record that nobody will ever match in, in the history of Palm Coast. He would agree with me that as the, as the city council changes, each city council uh, develops a certain personality. And the people on the council have individual focus, individual favorite things they want to see the city establish. And I want to take my time today speaking to you to talk about that first city council, the one that started in December 1999. And the first member I want to talk about is Jim Holland. Jim Holland was our budget expert. He fought to keep taxes low. And he was responsible for bringing racetrack here because on the council we had discussions about we, whether we wanted racetrack on, on uh, Palm Coast Parkway uh, to worry about our environment. Jim Holland convinced the council uh, to vote to approve racetrack coming in. And that was important because at the time, we had a lot of little, little gas stations around town, but no big gas station. And when we brought uh, racetrack in, that was the first time we had lower gas prices here than other, other people areas, and also, uh, Jim was concerned that racetrack brought new taxes into the city, which was a priority of his that he always focused on. Now, another member of that uh, first council was Ralph Carter. And Ralph Carter's main interest was affordable housing and council civility. He argued for us to approve the first uh, city apartment house in Palm Coast, the one that's located on Pine Lakes Parkway. Uh, he will, thought it was important that we provide housing, adequate housing, affordable housing for the people who lived and worked here in Palm Coast. And he also made sure uh, that our discussions as on council, uh, while we had differences of opinion, 
uh, it was always conducted in a civil manner. We respected each other for uh, our own opinions. Jerry Full was the other member of the city council. Uh, he was our tree hugger. Uh, and he, he was all for safeguarding the environment. And his first priority uh, was that. And he actually wrote the ordinance that we have that safeguards the trees and all the setbacks that we have uh, and the trees that were planted along Palm Coast Parkway. Uh, and now when you go to uh, dr uh, drive along Palm Coast Parkway and you see how nice it looks, Jerry Full deserves a lot of the credit for that. The, uh, another member of our council was Bill Venny. Uh, Bill Venny was a peacemaker. At the time, uh, when we first started, the city council and the county commission did not have very good relations all the time. Uh, and Bill Venny was one of the per people who tried to make it so that our council and the county commission would work closer together uh, in a proper way. And he did this best to bring us together. Uh, his other focus was city sidewalks, city street lights, the city water. They were basic municipal things that you take care of, and Bill Venny was always interested in that. He also started uh, the monthly newsletter uh, that the city sends to the uh, customers of the utility every month. Bill Venny is out here somewhere, uh, and uh, he'll be joining us on the ribbon cutting. Uh, for myself, I served as the mayor and my focus was that I would not approve any budget unless that budget provided adequate funds for our cultural and recreational facilities. Our city manager at the time was Dick Kelton, and Dick Kelton is out there somewhere, uh, and he'll be joining us also at the ribbon cutting. And Dick Kelton was responsible for making sure that our organization, our council, uh, ran smoothly. Sadly, very sadly, Jim Holland, Ralph Carter, and Jerry Full have all passed away. And they are probably, I would like to think, watching us now. And they would be very proud of what they see at this occasion. And I think that they would be the first to compliment the 2015 council. And that 2015 council uh, made up of uh, Mayor Nets, Council Members DiLorenzo, McGuire, Shipley, Nobile, and City Manager Landon, they made it happen. It took some political courage and it took financing to get it done properly. And I think the first council, the council of uh, December 99, oh, Oh, a great debt to the Council of 2015. This building is your legacy, Council of 2015. You deserve it. Thank you. As we continue the journey, and, and Mr. Canfield's uh, comments, I think, uh, is right in line with that whole theme, that this has been a, a journey. About eight years ago, Mr. Canfield passed uh, the baton of mayor on to uh, Mr. John Nets when he was elected by you all. And so we're going to continue on with this journey with get, receiving comments from our current mayor, Mayor Nets. Thank you very much. <clears throat> November 3rd, 2015, a new day brings a new era to Palm Coast. Today is a historic moment in the narrative that defines our city. Together, we begin a new cycle that celebrates a small town with a very big presence. On this Tuesday evening, the first time a Palm Coast City Council will meet in our new city hall, I'm honored to stand before all of you as we open these doors. This is our first permanent building constructed for the sole purpose of serving the people of this community. This, there's so much more to this city hall than just concrete, drywall, and paint. It was built on a platform of the principles for which the founders established Palm Coast. 
It is our trademark for integrity, harmony, and diversity. Within these walls, our meeting rooms identify each of our neighborhoods, Palm Harbor, Beltaire, Cypress Knoll, Matanzas, Seminole Woods, Indian Trails, Lehigh Woods, Quail Hollow, Pine Lakes, the Woodlands, and Pine Grove. Within its walls, your city staff will assist you with permitting, building, code, customer service, all of your needs. Within these walls, you will have a gathering place for your organizations to meet. Within these walls, your elected officials will continue to meet and accomplish the work of the people. Sixteen years ago, in 1999, your city leaders embarked on an endeavor to incorporate Palm Coast as an official Florida municipality. This journey began with about 30,000 residents and a city hall in a library. Moving toward 2015, over 80,000 residents and this new structure sitting alongside Central Park in Town Center. It represents 16 years of strength, struggles, and triumphs that have helped us discover our capabilities. Palm Coast City Hall symbolizes our city as a diverse location where people from many states, countries, and many ethnicities have come together to stake out a common identity. Most of us have come to live here from someplace else, but today we formally open the doors of our new city hall as a communal place to assemble as Palm Coast residents. Everything in our history has brought us together to this place and time so that together we can look forward to our future. Our investment in City Hall will encourage new businesses to open here in Town Center and bring new jobs to Palm Coast. It helps open the eyes of developers to build new residents within this walkable segment of our community. The recent opening of the Portuguese Consulate, the construction of the outdoor phase of the Palm Coast Arts Foundation Performing Arts Center, the Landings Apartment Complex, the beautification and reconstruction of Town Center's interest at Bulldog Drive, these are all excellent illustrations that continue to fuel this area of economic opportunity. On behalf of your City Council and your entire City staff, I welcome you and thank you for joining us here today. May we always remember with pride this very moment in Palm Coast's honesty. This City Hall belongs to all of you. If we can share a vision for Palm Coast's future, if we together create a whole community that is better than its parts, we can forge a more vibrant and more attractive place to live and work and play. I look out on our residents who've come here today to celebrate this grand opening, and I'm reminded of a quote by Henry Ford. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Welcome Palm Coast to 160 Lake Avenue. Great. Uh, we're about finished with the journey today, but I really want to stress a couple of things. And as the mayor said, this building is a lot more than bricks and mortar. I've been doing this crazy business for over 30 years. I have never been so privileged with the group of employees that we have here in Palm Coast. Uh, they are extremely dedicated, talented individuals, and they have worked hard to get to this point and will continue to work. The design team put a lot of emphasis on uh, a functional building, but one that is also very customer service oriented. One that when you enter the building, you have a smiling face that says hello. When you enter the different departments, you'll have a, a smiling face that says hello, not just a blank door that you got to figure out how, where you go from here. Very, very important to the team because we want you all to be welcome here and want you to keep coming back. Today is just beginning, but hopefully you will come back and continue this journey with us. Those of you, many of you have had tours already. But if you notice, we also have a strong brand. All the photographs on the walls, you know, those are pictures here at Palm Coast. Those are actually winners of our annual photo contest. So when you come in, it says, hello, you're in Palm Coast. And it was very important that we continue the high quality the reasons why we're here in Palm Coast, that you see that in your building. You see all the landscaping out in the parking lot? says Palm Coast, doesn't it? 
Yeah, it's a, that type of thing. So we try to put a real brand as we continue this journey so you'll be pr proud of us and fit in with the lake on the other side. All right, with that said, bring us up to date. And, and in today, our current council, which I am going to introduce to you, in addition to Mayor Nets, and if you all will come up, and we're going to cut the ribbon. The ribbon has uh, these photo cubes on it, each one of them representing a different department, or seven different departments. So, uh, Mayor, if you will come up. Uh, Vice Mayor Bill McGuire is on City Council today. We have Jason DeLorenzo, Heidi Shipley, and Steve Nobile. Uh, what we would like to do is, because this has been a journey, is also invite our previous council members and elected officials. So, uh, Mayor Canfield, if you will join us, Bill Vinnie, I saw Holsey Mormon, Alan Peterson. This is where I'm going to get myself in trouble. Uh, Dave, uh, no, Kelton, you are not. You are not a council member. <laughs> Uh, Dave Fer but, but yes, Dick Kelton, uh, city manager, I had to give him a hard time, uh, obviously. Uh, Dave uh, uh, Ferguson, anybody else I'm missing? Mary DiStefano. How could I forget Mary? I knew it. Did I get everybody? All right, so we're going to have the photo op. Uh, each one of the current council members have a scissor and then we're going to open the door and welcome you. With that, Mayor, I'm going to turn it over to you at this point. You want to give us a countdown? and so nice and uh, clean. I think it's great to have this city hall. It's, it's about time, you know, I think this number eight of city hall and what you had before, that was terrible. <laughs> this is really nice. We enjoy this yeah. and I hope everybody likes to work in here. <laughs> a professional workplace for a professional staff. We've come a long way. Offices and people, and I think it's you know, worthwhile. I think it's a great thing. It's better than the storefront they were in. It's well deserved. You know, you're a city of 80,000 people now. It's about time they get something that's worthwhile. Pretty well put together. A lot of light space, plenty of lighting. Uh, I think the uh, city employees will enjoy it. Looking good. Real good. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I really do. It's worth waiting for. We've been watching this place uh, from day one go up. We're excited about it. It was beautiful, the way they have it laid out. The whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's so open. It's like a huge command center. It was really exciting and people were nice. And the council chambers are absolutely gorgeous. together.